Hi, I'm Joe from Wacom, and today I'm going to share some tips on getting started with your bamboo fun. The first thing to remember is the tip of the pen is a click. So if you don't want to click, simply keep the pen within a quarter of an inch above the tablet, and you'll still be able to move the mouse pointer without clicking. Once you have the pen tablet properly installed on your computer or laptop, you can program it for the way you work, choosing preferences to help you work faster and more comfortably. To get started, let's open the tablet's control panel. If you're on a PC, go to Start, All Programs, Pen Tablet, and then choose Pen Tablet Properties. If you're on a Mac, go to System Preferences from the Apple menu and choose Pen Tablet. Now that you've opened the control panel, let's explore our options. In the control panel, you should see four tabs, the Pen Tab, Mouse Tab, the Pop-Up Menu Tab, and the Tablet Tab. You may not see the Pen or Mouse Tab until the tool itself has been on the tablet. The Pen tab allows you to program a number of variables related to the pen. First, you can assign the buttons on the pen to your two most commonly used shortcuts. By default, they should be right-click and pan-scroll. As you get more accustomed to the pen, you'll find that these do save you time. You'll also see a slider that adjusts tip feel. Tip feel ranges from soft to firm, allowing you to change how pressure in the software reacts to how hard you press the pen to the tablet. By moving the setting softer, you're effectively making the pen more sensitive. Below this setting, you'll see a slider for double-click distance, which ranges from small to big. By moving your setting bigger, you increase the target area in which two clicks have to land in order to get a double-click. If you think about it, a mouse doesn't move when you click twice. A pen is very precise, so you're effectively defining the area in which the two clicks have to land on the tablet. Another important part of this tab is the tracking tab, which determines how your pen will interact with the tablet and display. In pen mode, the cursor maps to the corresponding location on screen, like this. So each corner of the tablet corresponds to that corner of your display. In mouse mode, the cursor moves with a pick up and slide motion, which is similar to how you'd move a mouse a mouse will move the pointer relative to its last location on screen. A pen has an absolute relationship between its position on the tablet and the pointer's position on the display. Bamboo Fun defaults to pen mode for the pen and mouse mode for the mouse. I would strongly recommend that you leave it alone for a few days until you learn how pen mode can really benefit the way you work. But if you'd like to change it, just click the mouse mode button. Another setting you'll see is Click Sound, which tells your computer to make a sound when you touch the pen to the tablet to initiate a click. It may be a good idea to activate this as you're getting accustomed to the pen. The second tab in the control panel is the Mouse tab. The Mouse tab is pretty straightforward. The first area you see allows you to define the button functions. Below that, you'll see the Wheel function, which allows you to disable or modify how it scrolls. And the final section is Tracking which behaves exactly like the tracking section for the pen. The third tab is the pop-up menu tab. The pop-up menu tab allows you to build user-defined menus that you can assign to any of the buttons. Once you've built a pop-up menu, you need to assign it to one of the buttons either on the tablet or the tools. It's a lot like when you right-click and you see a menu of options available to you, only these you will have defined. This is covered in more depth in the user's manual. The fourth tab in the control panel is the tablet tab. In this tab, you'll be able to adjust the settings that apply to your entire tablet. First, you'll see a diagram of the express keys, which correspond to the four buttons on the bamboo fun. Each of these will have a corresponding drop-down menu that allows you to choose from any number of settings. You'll want to program the functions you use most frequently into your express keys. For example, I've programmed one key to open up my email, and I've programmed another to minimize all of my programs and return to a clean desktop. Play around with these settings, and you'll see how they can really help you. The second area of the tablet tab relates to the touch ring, which you can control with your finger. It's most commonly used for zooming in and out on a document or scrolling up and down. Use the drop-down menu to set this up however you'd prefer. You can reset any of these tabs at any time by clicking the default button in the bottom right corner of each tab. So I hope this video was helpful. If you have more questions, check out our other videos at Wacom.com.